so much of this movie takes place in Los Angeles. And speaking as someone who was born in Los Angeles, it's wild because somehow they found locations in the UK that looked exactly like LA, like palm trees and all. <laughs> and it was um, it was amazing. And I, I mean, so much of that uh, has to do with the production design and, and I mean, the research that went into this movie is, is pretty astounding. Um, in order to bring these moments to life and so that you really felt like you were there and you really understood the kind of, the 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 opulence of of this era of you know for for Elton when when he really 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 was very 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 successful was um, responsible for some crazy huge percentage of all record sales like a, across the planet I mean the success is sort of was unprecedented and um, and so to get to kind of like bring that era to life, which was already sort of an excessive era, you know, um, with the seventies in particular and, and, um, and, you know, they did just such a great job of really demonstrating that and showing that. From the time I was cast in this movie to when I was on camera was six days. So I was cast went to the UK and one of the first things that I did um, after landing was to go straight to Abbey Road and to record I Want Love and um, and got to meet you know the other actors and all that kind of stuff there. And that was just to kind of be there. My, my dad had just done a documentary about the Beatles. And, um, and so, you know, I obviously heard a lot of stories and everything and, um, and so to get to be there was just, you know, it's, yeah, it's, you're a part of, I mean, I'm not part of history, but like you get to feel like you're in somewhere where history happened. So my favorite Elton John song is I'm Still Standing. And the reason, other than it being a great song, is because my daughter sings it constantly, constantly, because she heard it in the movie Sing. And she's seven years old, and she's just been singing this song. Like, this is like her anthem. <laughs> Taryn's costumes are out of control. And every single one of them was sort of like more elaborate than, than the one before. And um, yeah, I mean, it was just every day, it was like a fashion show. And everyone on set was just... I mean, it was it was so much fun. It was I was gonna say it was like Halloween every single day. Like it was absolutely incredible the amount of detail um, that went into bringing this era to life, and in particular bringing Elton John's very, very, very fantastical, colorful, um, extravagant wardrobe to life. Elton John was someone who who held on to his own authenticity throughout his entire life. And, and he did that. He had that courage very early on in his career in, in, you know, in various ways, in various stages, but he was always, there was a courageousness and a boldness. And it's not because he wasn't afraid, because he was actually a very shy person. But he had, he had that passion within him and, and that need to express himself. And, and that was incredibly inspiring to now at this point, many generations. And now we're living in a time when people, thank God, are finally being celebrated for their authenticity and being celebrated for what is unique about them and who they really are. They're being celebrated for who they really are. And, and Elton has represented this for a long time. And, and I think that's, one of the many reasons why his music is so meaningful to people is because it's honest and it's from him and it's true. And he's someone who has not walked an ordinary life. He has not, this has not been an ordinary journey at all. And, and to celebrate that uniqueness and celebrate someone who is so remarkable, unapologetically remarkable, that is something that is very, very powerful.